On 15th July 2024 at midday, an Indian national identified as Mr. Joshi Keshav, aged 32, was attacked by unknown assailants riding motorcycles along Kampala Road near Victoria University. <laughs> In a 42-second video released on social media, the assailants on four motorbikes surrounded the Indian national, robbing him of a laptop, money, and a debit card. The assailants included the attacker, the property snatcher, and another ensuring the victim could not resist. Police report that Keshav, who was riding on a safe border, sustained minor injuries and promptly reported the incident to the police. When the Uganda police was notified about the incident, it promptly dispatched officers riding on motorbikes to pursue the suspects. However, during the pursuit, some of the suspects managed to flee. Because there were three, there were three motorcycles, so you could not concentrate on one. Then we said, with the draw, let's stick to one. And that's how we ended up arresting one person by the names of Alex Ndiayimbazi. He's currently detained at Kawempe Police Station, pending further interrogations. And we hope he will, be, he will help us to identify his other colleagues. This camera captured the incident, showing members of the public seemingly unbothered by the event. Yeah. If you can blow a whistle, you can make an alarm, you can shout, create all sorts of noise so that you get to alert people that there is a problem here. And if you cannot, call a 99 immediately. The commissioner in charge of community policing, Anatoly Muleterwa, attributes this to moral decadence. Two, uh, technological advancement. As we presume that everything is being done by technology, because all of those people presume that if you cannot be able to save it, then technology can do it for you. But remember, technology is passive. Technology cannot do an intervention, and technology is remotely controlled. I am at the scene of crime. I can see the Social Security House, the Office of the President, which houses the Directorate for Ethics and Integrity, the Wazalendo Sako offices, and banks. All of these places are heavily guarded. But the question is, why was there no response from these armed officers during the incident? An officer can abandon his duty site and go and uh, rescue a situation. But if he's not alerted, he will not be able to go there. A similar crime occurred in July 2021 along Mawanda Road, Kamocha, where assailants attacked an Indian national, stealing two phones and five million shillings. All perpetrators were identified through CCTV footage and subsequently arrested. Tony Kent Chaze, Ivan Kahua, UBC News.